moving ahead. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Observe and listen. Enough You'll hear gawking. goblins Get before you down. see them. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Well, uh... In that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A 
strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. An oil bear. Please, do you have any... Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the Absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. You! Uh, Brenna! Kill him! Sometimes the only way out is through. Thank <laughs> you. 
strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Still alive. So that's progress. Oh. All right. What now? What did you mean, poor Gail? A woman with shadows for eyes, you said. Merely that if the eyes are the mirror to the soul, yours have dark curtains across the mirror. No offense taken, I hope. Not necessarily. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. Never wanted the easy path. Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Feel like we're being watched. Not now. Please. some punishment. Incredible! Let's turn someone inside out. this. Gone with the weave. 
No choice but to keep going. Let's have some cum. Spill some blood. I speak, they burn. One day I'll catch a break.
peer through the telescope. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. You just care about your stupid apprenticeship! Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Ah, I forgot. You're a blow-in. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need.
Don't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. We've known enough grief this 10-day traveller. Don't be the cause of more. Ah. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Don't make me hurt you, boy. Too late! Looking at if you! If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. Alson, he's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblins for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Baldur's Gate when you die. Hope the goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blades. Can't blade. wait to get back to the gate. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door, so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? what you mean. Do we ever? But I, I've heard there's all sorts in the city. It, it might not be like it was in El Terrell. I mean, in Baldur's Gate, they give you a chance. Good luck to you. Wish us a little too. I think we'll all need it. Surely destined for the slaughter. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And no love was not enough. I speak their language. My love, you were a caravan escort for three days, and you quit in the middle of your shift. You sound like your father. Get back, kid! I already told you I don't have it! Help! Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. Thank you. 
Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Eltoral fell into the furnace. These days my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. For some salt. Is that everything? Don't you like it? Ah, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. Oh, stop! Even on a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. Not that they'd listen to little old me. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Precious borders gate. I care. 
Wretches! No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship! Take that back, kid! Right now! I already told you I don't have it! How stupid are you? No, sweetie. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Landing. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Uh, like this, you mean? Step, step, strike! Yes! You really know what you're doing! Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Hopefully it's just the goblins we have to worry about. Druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Bite your fingers off. I will. The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Good work, kid. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. 
a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. We don't even know these people! That doesn't matter! Of course it does! You would choose strangers over us! Found you, Lord. That's not what I said. Oh, you have it. Can we touch me and I'll bite your what? fingers off? I will. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too, lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. I'd die if I met Leroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress and we're no warriors. Now you lie to people. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. <laughs> <laughs>